Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown, take it apart, and I'll show it to you how to do so. At the same time, I'll walk you through the certain of the parts that you can upgrade, for example, like your RAM, your regular hard drive, your C drive, which is the M.2 NVMe drive, and things like that, like change the motherboard or the speakers, Maybe you have a cracked screen and I'll walk you through the process on how to do that repair. All right, so let me show you the model number. If you turn it upside down and if you take a look here, you can identify the model by looking at the bottom left corner. This is the HP 24 dash CB0017C. All right, so while this thing is still upside down, I want to show it to you how the back looks like. Pretty much it's just, just the uh, adapter, like the laptop adapter power goes in here. Ethernet, you can do a dual monitor, meaning that you'll be using this as a primary and you can output it, the secondary monitor, to the HDMI. In the back here, you would have three 3.0 USB port. This is the stand, and this is where the plastic, you need to pry it open. I know that the angle on the camera is very limited, but I'll do my best to show it to you. Now, if you take a closer look on your stand, there's a plastic right here. What you want to do is you want to stick like a metal prying tool or a plastic prying tool, which is thin enough for you to stick it in and pry it open. Let's get started. So the goal is to pry the plastic up and find your way, whichever way is comfortable for you to do that. I'm still looking at the right angle to do. I guess in the middle is a lot easier where the weakest point is. Okay. Right, so the plastic does not come out. You just wanted to make it separated, make it loose, because we are going to remove the front cover. So this is where we need to remove the plastic. Let me turn it back in the front here and show it to you. So this bar right here is where we need to remove that plastic cover. Again, I'll be using the metal prying tool. Or you can get this metal prying tool and uh, whichever is easier for you. What I'll do is I'll link the tools and the parts in the description below. Go ahead and check out the description. It will direct you to Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement parts. Now here you want to pay a close attention to is the plastic in the front here, the speaker plastic bar. Let me lift it up a little bit. And I wanted to I wanted to uh, to film this so you can see, right? So I'm starting from the corner here. I'm still finding the weakest spot.
All right, for my reason, on the bottom left corner, it seems to be slightly easier to remove. So you can see like the plastic is separated here on the bottom left corner. And while it's being separated, what you need to do is just wiggle. And if it gets stuck, you just come back and do some plastic prying tool to try to separate the plastic. So the plastic is pretty much like a clip-on thing. Um, so you slide it in and if you press hard enough, it would clip back onto. There's no adhesive double-sided tape or anything that glues onto this. It's just a clipper. So once you pop it out, you can remove the uh, plastic here. So let's put that on the side. Here you can see that the LCD screen and the speakers are exposed. What you want to do is you want to remove the screw. So there's one screw here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we have nine screws to remove. So there are four at the bottom here with the arrow pointing down. Just a regular Phillips screwdriver would do. The screw here is a lot shorter compared to the screw that is that is coming from uh, from the top. So the four bottom screws are a lot shorter and the one on the top are a lot longer. So screws on the top are longer, keep that in mind. Uh, this thing is not magnet, so let me give it some juice to m magnetize my screwdriver. I wonder why it's not coming up. All right, looks like that should be it. I have removed all the screws and see if I can remove the LCD screen. So the LCD screen is entire piece together with this black plastic. So what you wanna do is, I'm gonna work on the side corner here. So I go all the way underneath. It's hard for me to show it to you. Hold on a second. Let me stuck my finger in it and hold it. So I'm trying to go underneath. This is how you need to go that deep. Meaning that when you put the prying tool here, you just make sure that you are deep enough to lift the black part of the LCD in the back here. All right, so you have that in place. Let me see if I have a... Uh, so pretty much you just have to separate the, uh, the, uh, the black cover right here, the plastic. We need to come back and work on this side. Okay, I just pry on both sides open and the screen can just uh, slide it down or like you wiggle, wiggle until the, the clipper give up and you can just remove the LCD screen. Now you do not want to pull the LCD 
immediately because all the wires are still attached to it so you lift it towards your body so lift it straight up towards your body and here what you want to do is you want to disconnect the LCD cable it's very straightforward um, this little white bar right here what you want to do is you want to lift it up so both sides you lift it up and then the cable will just come straight up so this clipper right here you just want it to lift up not to remove but just lift it up the next one is this as well lift up the white cable and this not necessary to remove so we're going to put it back i'm not sure what this is we'll find out later so we need the lcd detach we need this cable you just pull straight up to remove it and here no safety pin no safety cable just lift it straight up and you can remove that cable so three cables you remove the entire lcd can put it on the side all right here you can see here you can see that the regular hard drive is here the 2.5 inch one terabyte to remove that what you want to do is lift up the clipper and remove that flex cable unscrew remove this one piece of screw and slide this hard drive away from you so slide it away from your body to that direction and you just remove the 2.5 inch hard drive if you want to change the hard drive to a regular um sorry from a regular hard drive to a solid state drive this is an ssd 2.5 inch so you can have a faster speed and whatnot um yeah so this is how you're going to do it remove the four screws right both two on both sides and remove the cable and you can just install reverse process by doing that okay let's put that on the side here we do not need that this is your nvme this is the c drive phillips screw remove that and slide it away from your body so this one comes with 256 256 is not much it's very small for your c drive if you want to upgrade to a larger one yes you can do that now you can buy one of this you know like you can buy one of this which is like the one terabyte or two terabyte and yeah and you can just swap it out now let me show it to you something here one second you might want to consider cloning your hard drive when i say cloning your hard drive meaning that the original c drive which is the 256 if it's too small for you and you bought like a one terabyte what you want to do is you want to insert this all right put a screw here or tape to cover it up so that it's securely fastened and you can insert this in the back of the uh, the computer and do a cloning so you can actually clone your smaller ssd drive to a larger ssd drive right by buying this usb NVN nvme adapter so where did i get this adapter i got it from amazon so check out the amazon link in the description below and you can go ahead and buy one of these one of this insert and clone it over once you clone it over you can install your new one terabyte or larger nvme drive that all your windows your program your data everything would be the same here so in this video i'm not going to show you how to clone the hard drive i have it in a different video so go ahead and check that out um i have the video in the link description check out one of those links all right move on we need to remove the 
fan. If your fan is not spinning, you can just lift the uh, cable straight up. Once you have that removed. Let's remove the three screws. You can remove the fan and you're not sure where to buy the fan replacement. Go ahead and check out this part right here. And this way you can buy the replacement fan. Where is that missing screw I just dropped? I don't see it. Oh, now I do. Okay, so that is that. Now this is your heat sink, and the heat sink is the one that exhausts out the hot air away or on the top of the computer. So, um, yep, that's your heat sink. The RAM is in this metal box here. So this metal box is screwed on. All right, so once you remove the two screws, this metal bracket can come straight up. And here you can see that you have eight gigabytes DDR4 RAM. This is a PC4, meaning it's a DDR4. It is a eight gigs of RAM. So what you can do, there are two slots. You can buy additional one more of this and insert at the bottom. To install is very simple. You slide it at 45 degree angle. And when you push it down, the two side clipper should just clip it and hold the RAM. And to remove it, you just push it away and the RAM would pop up at 45 degree angle. So always the first RAM, just put it on the top here. Now it's very straightforward. I'm not going to remove the motherboard. As you can see, the motherboard is very tiny. Um, one, two, three, few, like maybe five screws. Once you remove it, you can remove the entire motherboard. At that point, you pretty much replace everything uh, it, at this moment. And about the speaker here, you can see that the speaker has no screw that hold on to it. You can just pop it straight up and that's how you remove the speaker. Okay, uh, let me put the, uh, the thing back here. Um, if you have any question, comment below. I do read your comments and um, and yeah, please let me know if you, what did you do? Did you break the screen? Um, were you looking to upgrade your hard drive? or RAM and happen to find my video helpful and if my video is helpful to you um, please comment below I like to I like to hear from you and uh, make sure you click to like and subscribe as well now this little cable here I know what it is this is the power button so this power button cable goes back to this slot and then push the we want to push the clipper back down to secure that flex cable. Okay, let me put the fan back here. I'm going to put things back together now. But before I finish putting everything up, I would like to talk to you about the LCD screen. I'm pretty sure that some of you out there by accident broke the screen, right? Maybe the kid is watching Coco Melon and by accident they knock 
the screen and it broke it, right? Who knows? Kids, they break stuff. All right. So let me put the uh, the hard drive back. Once I have the hard drive installed, I'm going to talk about it. I'll see the screen. Okay, so again, very simple. This one here, you need to slide it in. So make sure you're facing on the top first and then push it down to slide in. Once it's in, get one the screw back. We need to put the screw back to secure the thing. And again, make sure the clipper is open. Slide a flex cable, push it all the way in and have that clipper Push it back to secure that. All right, let's move this on the side. We're done talking about the computer. We are going to talk about the LCD screen. Now the LCD screen, if you broke it, oh boy, how are you gonna replace it? It's quite simple if you ask me. Um, Okay, the way I look at it is the LCD is by itself. This entire LCD is on its own. What you need to do is you need to remove all the screws that hold on to the plastic frame here. Uh, should I remove or should I not? There's a lot of screw here, man. Okay, it's one. You know what? I must well just do it for you guys. I know you guys really like to look at the uh, screen replacement. I know that happens a lot uh, for, you know, things happen. So yeah, I'm doing this for you. So please make sure you click that subscribe and like this video, okay? You gotta help me out too, because I'm helping you out here. <laughs> all right, so once I remove all that screw, now I pretty much can remove this plastic. And what is holding down the plastic is this little tape here and all this cable here. So let's go ahead and untape them. Come on. So, yep, so pretty much this is it. Uh, man, I try not to uh, try not to remove all the all the wires because I don't want to put them back together. So anyway, I'll do my best, my very best for you guys. Mm hmm. All right, see, so once you remove the, uh, the, uh, all the screws, then the plastic will just come right off, right? So the plastic is removed and this is just your LCD screen. This whole thing is your LCD. You just need to buy this LCD and that's it. Then you, you just do the reverse process. Um, uh, just so you know, the LCD here, it says LM238WF. Five, S S E six. Make sure you find the right model. Make sure you match the mounting bracket too. So look at the screws here. Look at the nuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make sure you have all these things match up in the display. I mean, um, before you purchase. And I'll try my best to link the LCD. Again, this is quite a brand new computer here. They are just out in the market. I might not able to find the LCD screen for you. Uh, but just remind me in the future, I, I, I might come back and look around. Maybe you can find a used one on eBay and whatnot. So yeah, um, go ahead and do that. 
uh, it's very simple get the screen right once you have the screen on uh, you can just do the reverse process like what I'm doing right now to um, to install or to replace the screen okay so that should be it I do not have anything else for you right now um, I think this is pretty much it and again I really appreciate like I promised I'm going to show you how to re replace the screen um, and do me a favor smash the like if you haven't click the subscribe I really appreciate you for liking and subscribing the, the channel and I hope you learned something today I think I'm going to end the video now and thanks for watching until next time take care now bye